Hello my loyal companions, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be going over uh, what I want to see from the rank system within Rogue Company when it eventually does come out. I want to use this video to show what I want to see and what you guys want to see to the Rogue Company developers. So make sure you comment down below what you are looking forward to seeing, what you think really needs to be in place before a rank system can be around and what it is uh, that you want them to know about ranked before it launches. Drop those comments down below, I will be responding to every single one. For now though, let's get into the video. I play a lot of games with a lot of ranked systems and I think I have a good idea of what would make uh, this game do really well with a ranked mode. But the main things I want to cover are skill based matchmaking, the tiers, the way that you gain and lose rank and then also the communication aspect of the game. When it comes to skill based matchmaking, even though it doesn't feel like it with some of the teammates you might get, there is a form of skill based matchmaking within the game. I don't know how strong this is, it feels kind of like a soft skill based matchmaking where people's sort of ability and levels don't really seem to combine well with their actual ability. This certainly needs to be something that's addressed first. They need to figure out what the average player is like when they're playing this game, and this will only come through uh, time. But when they get that, that can be the foundation for where they have their ranks. Tweaking the skill based matchmaking is going to be really important when we do get into these ranked games because we don't want players who are maybe not as good or maybe just doing their placement games to be in with the higher level uh, rogue players. This can be really demoralizing for those rogue players and for the players who are new to the game or new to placements and ranked at least, they get really demoralized uh, by getting stomped by these better players. So they need to understand where the average person is going to be, where they want to try and funnel the average person's rank to be. Is this going to be like one of the lower ranks, maybe a mid tier rank? They need to figure this out. Um, personally, I would suggest that it goes into uh, one of the lower to mid range uh, ranks. So this would be, say you had a bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond kind of rank system. This would be a silver entry level. I think this offers the best fairness for people because uh, it allows players to at least get that progression to then get up into the higher ranks and it doesn't assume people's ability too early on. I think that's a big problem a lot of these rank systems have is they put you in really high for you only to get stomped and lose faith in the game. Whereas it'd be better for you to start lower and everyone move up from there. Also on the note of skill based matchmaking, I think they should absolutely remove skill based matchmaking from casual games. Um, the reason for this is just because it's more fun um, to play in games that have a really mixed variety of levels, um, or at least keep a very soft skill based matchmaking in there. Maybe make it like a level cap so that a level 20 or so you can be thrown into any kind of lobby, but pre level 20 you're only with other pre level 20s. This could be a good little just period because when I go into a casual game or to warm up or something, I don't want to be with sweat. I'm going to be honest, I want to play, uh, maybe play against some better people, maybe play against some not so great people. And this is something uh, that a lot of games don't do very well. And I think Rogue Company should try and capitalize on and really get it from the get go. Moving on to my next point, and that is tiers. Tiers are very important. What you name your tiers, what you design your tiers as, and I do hope they put a massive amount of effort into it. I know Valorant kind of flopped with their tier system, the way they were designed. Um, as for the tiers, maybe go simple, go bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, then have your sort of challenger S series, or maybe call them something really cool based on a rogue company lore type element. Whatever you name them, that's fine. But what is important for me in tiers is that you have a few things. One, you have sub tiers so you have gold one gold two gold three for example that's really important because it means you can spread out the player base within certain tiers a lot easier rather than anybody say i'm diamond well that can mean really high diamond or really low diamond in terms of difference and the skill based matchmaking needs to account for that uh, so make sure there are sub tiers the other thing with tiers is firstly uh placement matches 10 games or so, five games or so to then place you into some sort of rank depending on your skill. If you lose all five and you're not doing very well, then put you right down at the bottom. If you are doing quite well, then maybe put you uh, closer to that top silver, early gold sort of mark. That also then leads into promotion series, which I think are really healthy within the game. Also kind of annoying for the player, but promotion series are really good. To move in from silver to gold, you need to at least win a certain amount of matches or hit a certain cap. Whatever that might be within Rogue Company, preferably wins. But I think that would be a really good system. Um, they offer a lot more reward by having a promotion series than they do just letting you move between tiers really easily. You want to be hitting the promotion series. I don't think you should do a promotion series between gold two, gold one. You should just do it between going from gold to platinum, for example. Talking about moving up and down ranks, this is something else I want to touch on. And it's something, a big flaw in a lot of games I see. When it comes to gaining and losing rank in a game like Rogue Company in this sort of search and destroy type mode, you need to account for more than just winning games. You need to account for people's ability, their kills, their downs, their revives, and their general score. This is more important. You can use the money system perhaps, because uh, that tends to be a good reflection of score. 
But you need to get that involved as well, rather than just how many games you win, how many games you lose, because there are a variety of factors. As for how long it should take for you to go up and down ranks, it should depend whether you're on a win streak or a loss streak. So if you are winning a bunch of games, you should probably progress quite quickly. If you're losing games, you should demote quicker. If you're sort of win one, lose one, win one, lose one, you should probably try and stay around the same area. You don't want to be demoting people if they're going even, that sort of 50% win ratio or whatever you decide to uh, base it off of. You should try and keep it even based off that. The one factor you need to account for, and games do not do it correctly, League of Legends is the one I'm going to base this off of, is you need to find a way of quashing the amount you lose when you get trolled, when you get AFK'd on, when you get hacked on. Whenever you get trolled in a game and you lose a rank because of it, this needs to be some form of reduced rank system. I understand how hard this is um, to implement in League of Legends. I think I've just now, at Season 11, started trying to figure it out, but you at high res need to do it quicker. You need to be on the ball with it, get some sort of system in place where if reports go through, if it's either enough reports or whether it's um, some kind of, if they get reported and action is taken, then you lose less. This does need to happen quickly and within the same game. It will be difficult to implement a system like this, but if you can get on top of it, Rogue Company rank system will be the best rank system in competitive shooters. The last thing I want to touch on is communication within teams, because obviously in a team game like this, if that's a row company, communication, teamwork, coordination is paramount to anything in terms of winning a game. Having four teams go into these ranked games and stomp people who are playing solo will absolutely diminish um, the amount of enjoyment people are getting from it by playing solo. I know that the most frustrating part of row company for me at the moment is the fact that teams can't coordinate very well. Even with voice chat, not enough people have mics, and you need to somehow stop big teams going in as a four man and absolutely dominating for rank. There's only one way I can really see this working um, and that is you have to find some sort of separate solo queue to team queue sort of scenario. Whereas if you go in as one person by yourself, that is one rank system. And if you go in with one other party member or three other party members, that is another rank system. So a solo rank system and a team rank system. Implementing that will solve a lot of issues. Yes, solo players can still jump on comms and communicate, but it's so much fairer and so much more consistent um, than having just four people go in as a squad and dominate you that way. I think it's just a lot healthier to rely on the RNG of solo players with mics sort of talking in game chat rather than allowing solo players and teams to fight it out together. It's just not the same game, honestly. Okay then guys, that's taken us to the end of the video and the things that I really want to see out of the rank system from Rogue Company. I really want to know what you guys think and I really want to share your ideas with high res and the row company developers so drop them in the comments if you did enjoy the video and you're really hyped for the rank system make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more content you can also follow me on twitch.tv radbargaming to see live game commentaries other than that guys hope you have a fantastic day and remember be loyal be brave be relentless and i'll see you in the next video